We strongly believe that smartwatches today have been done wrong in the sense that people have tried replicating a phone on your wrist. So you swipe left, right, up, down. Uh, that's the kind of interaction you do on a bigger screen. For a smaller screen, you need a completely reimagined way to interact with the device. All the navigation and interaction over here happens through a single tap and scroll. So let's say if you want to change the watch face, you just do a long press and enter the selection menu. To browse through the different watch faces, you can scroll right through it. And let's say I want to select this particular minimal watch face, I just tap and select it. To enter the app space, you just press the button and you see all the apps arranged in a circular format. Uh, you can scroll through it, check out what are the apps there and whatever you want to use, you just tap it. So this is the music app. Again, every interaction happens through a single tap. So if you want to play music, you just tap on the play button. You can increase the volume, control the volume through a scroll. Apart from that, there's something called a timeline. So what the timeline does, it syncs in your calendar, your to-dos, reminders, alarms, and shows them in a single timeline. So you can just scroll through it nicely and look through your day. So if you want to keep a track of your steps, uh, you can just slide from left do an edge swipe and you can see through the number of steps you have taken, number of calories you have burnt, uh, active time during the day and uh, similarly from the bottom you can you can access the quick settings so that uh, you can control your DND options, you can control, you can look for your phone around very easily, you can control the watch brightness, you keep it at maximum. All these customized components are happening uh, across more mature global manufacturing markets, I would say, uh, spread across Shenzhen, Taiwan, uh, and Guangzhou. Uh, the outer body casing is uh, happening in India uh, in collaboration with the uh, factories that have in the past worked for HMT and then Titan. Our assembly and testing is happening in Chennai. Uh, design obviously happened in-house in, in Bangalore itself. Uh, this watch is finally going to take form and uh, shape and life in, uh, in India itself and we're shipping it out from here.